as though I have conquered death. I live death every day. I am surrounded by it. Smothered by it. somewhere new <laughs> actually some of you will have seen this before when we did the uh the original fulfillment stream welcome everybody how are you going i hope this is working had a little bit of a uh computer situation earlier um we are streaming from my kitchen i don't know does it sound uh echoey i've got the i've got the uh the old road uh, right here in front of me so hopefully it doesn't but uh yeah out of the cottage into the house into the fulfillment center which i'm not allowed to show anyone because uh mel says she'll kill me i can't show our house um but that's okay i can show this corner i've got this nice calming fern here is it a fern palm i don't know something and uh yeah, we're well into the thick of it. I all, Yesterday, I packed books, signed them. Uh, I found out, dang, Bancroft's growing the beard out, says, Eric, yes, I told you guys I am. It's going to be a big, a big bushy beard uh, by the time, by the time Mel gets back. I want to be like Yakin Phoenix when he went crazy. Uh, we have 30 people on this very impromptu stream. I just thought, why the hell not? I didn't see anyone else streaming and, uh, you know, we're fulfilling. So we did this last time. Let's do it again. I'll say hello to some people. Um, oh, I missed whoever was first. I apologize whoever it was, but I'm not doing that tonight. Anyway, uh, Judd's in the house. Angela's here. Who else? Noren Rad. I see awesome one. Hail Mo Big. Sierra Whiskey's here. By Bancroft, enjoy your trip to France. I'm not going to France. They are. I'll be here working on Paint to Death. Uh, Grant V. Crosby's here. Did I say Felix Huss already? I'll say it again if I did. Hail Felix Huss, the Link Master. Why is, now you talk about my beard, all of a sudden it just got really itchy. Texas Mofo says, must be nice to have sunshine. Yeah, well, it's, um, is it still summer here? Yes. It's still summer here, so it's actually quite nice outside. The wind, the doors open. It's breezy. It's good. Usually, I'm usually it's like a sweat den when I stream. Uh, Robert H is here. Who else? Who else can I say hello to? Raiden Radio General Piggy and uh, Fanta. Fanta was uh, very hot, friendly to me in uh, John's chat earlier. Thank you, Fanta. It was great to see. Oh, and Amanda B's here. Showering praise on Mel which I appreciate. Um, yeah. I'm going to scroll down. Uh, apologies. I, I, I've got to get started here. I'm supposed to be doing things. I'm supposed to be working. So I apologize if I have didn't call you out. Hang on. Let me get down to the bottom of the chat here. Uh, so there's this book, the unedited edition. I'll actually show you guys. Look at what I got too. I got everyone's got fancy stickers. I wanted a fancy sticker, so I got one of them. And the cool thing is, they're really they make it easy to um. Oh, hang on, now I, they don't actually come off the plastic very well, so I'm going to fold that back because I don't want to wreck it. Because I just want to show you guys the uh, how cool the um the chrome the Chrome signature is. I mean, that's not, that's probably a bit of a wacky version of my signature, but yeah, the Chrome, the Chrome plays, it sits on top. 
like a foil print. But we found out yesterday that with this, I got the fat one. I got the big fat one this time around because everyone was complaining that my signature was too small. Um, we found out yesterday that it takes eight hours for the chrome pen to dry. So we had to uh, lay them all out on the table and the bench there and let them dry overnight. But, you know, so we've got to do it in batches. So that's done. Most people ask for the um, signature on the cover, by the way. Most says, Bancroft, stop gloating about the chrome signature. You're basically dancing on Rob's grave. Rob is alive. Confirmation has come in. He is alive. Uh, that's where I signed. You can see it through the bag. It's pretty, it's pretty nifty. It's very, um, it's very impressive. The old Chrome pen. It really does look like it's been kind of printed on top, but it's hand printed by me. Rip Rob says Snuggy. Yeah. Most of you guys asked for the signature on the cover. I don't think I'm going to offer, actually, I'm probably going to take it down. I'm probably going to take down the signature on the title page because that's going to be a eight hours of drying, keeping the title page open. Can you imagine? I'm going to have to jerry-rig something. Some pencils maybe. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that tonight though. I have to. So that'll be fun. I'm going to take that down. It'll just be cover or no signature. Some of you didn't want my signature, which I found a little bit insulting, but it's okay. Uh, when will we see Rob again? Asks Angela. I don't know. He usually Rob is like the man who's number one in the kind of DMs. Oh, what's happening? And if you're not if you're not clucking like a hen all day, um, he's uh he's uh you know he's in there saying, "Oh, you guys are boring. I'm bored." We haven't seen him for two weeks now. It's like I mean, basically, like he died. But I hear, I have good word that he is still alive. Um, Paulus Arts will take a signature, no book. <laughs> Sign my book, Bancroft, says Angela. What back and number were you, Angela? Um, because I may have already signed it. See, I've got to do these in order. I've got to fulfill in order. That's because those of you who got in first, actually, let me show you. So if you were in the first 125, you don't only get that, but you also get this, which some of you would have already gotten when you backed the first time round. But uh, actually, well, all of you would have gotten it because everyone did. But I had some left. I had 125 left. I know some of you don't have it. Um, so uh, Angela wants Mel's signature too. If you want Mel's signature, she'll do it. But it has to, you have to go in and like send us a message or something and tell us that that's what you want so I can edit the order. Otherwise, I won't remember. Uh, we've done that for Jasper. We've done that for a few other people. Um, you can have it. Uh, yeah, so 125 of you got that as well. So that's why you have to do it in order. And as well, because I like to make things... Um, Oh, Mel says, my signature is nicer. Good choice. Mel's right there, but she doesn't want to come on camera. So it's just, she's like, I'm not going on camera today. Women, right? Um, Mo, I don't trust any reports of Rob living without seeing him. Rob will register as brain dead after a scan, whether he's alive or not. It's going to have to, I'm going to have to send over a doctor. Um. I want Mel's signature, but you have to guess my backer number. I'm not going to do that, Snuggy. I don't know your name. Did you back it as Snuggy? Uh, Phil Dares is in the house. He's also doing fulfillment. Yeah, this is fulfillment preparation. Um, so, yeah, everyone's getting this print, but not everyone is getting all the other prints. So if I just pull these out here, only I think only five of you are getting all of these and i don't want to pull them all out because i don't have to cram them all back in again but there's that one um there was that one i mean i get i hope you like prints if you were one of the first you know five backers because you're getting a whole bunch of them uh but so i've got to keep these in order because i've already done that what we're doing is today while i hang out with you wonderful people 
Sign everything, Michael. If, what, like all the prints? No. The magnets, like I got these little magnets made by Sticker Mule of uh, um, 6 a.m.'s Ella. That used to be, that was a sticker first time around, but I got these little magnets. I got to turn into a magnet, which is very cute. It's like a little chibi. Um, oh, look, see, some people are going to be getting it as a big sticker too because I had some of them left as well. So I'm just going to start dropping these in here. Come, sir. And uh, I'll put it that way. I'll put it that way. And popping it over there. And that's what I'm going to be doing while we hang out. Um, wait, Bancroft didn't sign the individual magnets? I didn't, Mo. I apologize. Only the books. Only the books. Love the four-fingered hands that uh, 6AM does, says Justin. Yeah, he's like, I love this Ella sticker. Even though it's not canon, like in that original image, Ella is very calm as she's tumbling to her certain doom. Spoiler alert, she doesn't die. She just does a magical handstand, which is what the Lucent is all about. Um, yeah, she's looking a bit panicked in this one, but that's okay. I still love it anyway. Cool sticker. Yeah, so a lot of you guys will be getting the prints, the bookmark. Everyone gets the bookmark. Everyone gets this until I run out. But that won't be for another 150 old backers or so. Uh, some of you will get this bookmark and there'll be different kinds of prints. So, And what I'm going to do is the same thing as last time. I slide this into this. And then it's all, it's like double wrapped. You don't have to worry about. And then the quick pack mailers now will come bagged as well. So there's no, if you live in a monsoon area, rest assured, you'll be fine. Cool sticker, says Snuggy. It is a cool sticker. I'm sad that it's the end. I suppose I could get more made, but that costs money. Hashtag team bookmark, Felix says Felix Huss. This is the first ever bookmark I made by Ray Rahu. I think that's how you say it. And it came out great. I even put his little at on there for anyone who looks at it and says, well, this guy's really good. He should do something for me. I didn't do that for Oren because he already put his, um, his little thing on there, which I appreciated. What's Mel laughing at? What are you laughing at? Mo. Mo. All right. I did. I apologize, Mo, for all the gatekeeping I did um, yesterday. I was just trying to keep the whole thing on the tracks. You know what I'm saying? It, it required my full attention. I couldn't get too distracted. He says, I slip into this and it's double wrapped. Bancroft adding new pit, new twist to his feral bush pig story. That's why I don't like say, telling stories multiple times. Because, you know, sometimes they're different and then people will say, you're lying about that story. I'm like, I don't know. I swear it happened to the best of my recollection. Every time I knock the table, I start wobbling. So uh, Mo accepts my apology. It was mostly the chat that was hurt, the chat and the show. It was an interesting show. People were saying afterwards, uh, well, there you go. If you ever wanted evidence of the importance of a mailing list and uh, promoting your campaign beforehand, that's a great looking book. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell people what to do. Joe had his ideas and that's what he was going to do. Imagine if he didn't launch on the show at all and no one knew it was coming and he just launched it. Even, you know. But I think he ended up with 13 backers. And uh, yeah, but I, you know, I swear we probably could have gotten close to 50, I reckon, with art like that. Rod Looper attached, all those great artists. Um, Michael Bancroft, are you treating the floppies as well? Giving them the nicest lingerie covers? What are you going on about, Hostman? <laughs> It 
It's always the chat that suffers when I gatekeep. Is that right, Citizen Ronan? Sometimes it has to be done, I feel. This book is um, obviously still available on my site, which is going to change very soon to thelucentcomic.com, lining up with my uh, all my ads and stuff, you know, Twitter and that. Uh, it was only ever supposed to be temporarily Lucent Waking Dream. Obviously, I'm not going to sell other things on Lucent Waking Dream, but I've got I've got painteddeath.com, snagged that. Um, but uh, yeah, the site will change to a regular store, lucentcomic.com, thelucentcomic.com. And uh, this is still available. You know, I've been doing all these shorts and you wonder how can you do anything with that? And I think I'm figuring it out. I've been trying to make sure the shorts, all of them relate to comics, pop culture, or cancel culture. And that way, whoever looks at them and then ends up subscribing, and it's not a it's not a huge number, but if you get if you go viral like some of them have, you can still end up. I've still gotten, you know, 400 or so subs from one of them. Um, and then what you do is it's the community posts that you can sort of start fostering a relationship with the new subs that have come in who only just previously watched your shorts. And today we posted about that we were fulfilling this and there were two comments in the in that community post um, asking, what is this? So where can I get this? So, I mean, I don't know if they're going to back it, but um, that's good. That's encouraging. You know, when I think about what Ethan did and your boy Zach, you know, your boy Zach grew his channel off America Chavez and everything that was going on in 2017. Ethan built his channel off uh, Soilo and Star Wars. I'm hoping I can replicate their success. Phantasmagorical says, I'm so stoked for Painted Death. I'm so stoked to uh, get it up eventually when that happens. What are you guys saying? I hate the shorts that have been made with a phone, says Agent Zero. Yeah, I uh, my shorts actually take a while to make. But I feel like they, they're the best way that I can reach new people who have never, you know, met us before the man creates says Aerith. the man fulfills fulfilling right now everyone says i don't do anything in the fulfillment look magnet bag hello uh david g says i've been enjoying the shorts bancroft even though i only get a notification for half of them yeah the thing with the shorts notifications is you only get notifications for them if you watch them and it's about the topic. So if, if you like those Hogwarts ones, if you haven't been watching anything about Hogwarts and you don't watch any shorts, you won't get any notifications for it. I think that's how it works. At least that's what I've been able to gather from my investigations. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't do them on the phone. I edit them properly. You know, I do a proper voice recording. I script them out. Luckily, you know, the script takes a minute to write. So that's fine. So you, you can't script out the longer videos. That's just that's just ridiculous. Um, you got to ad lib it, uh, which means you waffle on and say silly things. But uh, they do take a time to edit. You know, put it all together. You got. I always try and make sure something's always moving in the short. Um, I find that really helps them. You got to have the uh, what's it called? The, the subtitles and everything. So their work, but my goodness, I think since I started doing, no, in the last month, so even not since I started, because I've been doing for about a month and a half now, close to two, um, up, I think one and a half million views from them and 1.1 thousand subscribers. Again, I don't know if any of them are going to come here and hang out with us. I mean, that's the whole purpose of it. I'm looking at them like they're a, uh, a guy at the front of the store flicking his sign around um you know hopefully you know some will 
some will come in and see what we're doing. I think if I keep them all sort of like, hey, are you fed up with like mainstream corporate entertainment? If I can find enough people who agree with us on that, who are obviously not down with the woke agenda. Um, then, ah, then, uh, yeah, some of them, I, I, I hope, I mean, it, it is a tall order to ask like, Hey, you watch this 40 second short. Want to come hang out in a live stream for an hour? I know that's a tall ask. You are so right. Uh, SDA, I am apologizing here. I forgot to mention my wonderful rumblers. We've got 11 watching over on rumble. How you good folks. Um, yeah, Texas Mofo says your format for shorts is pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, it the whole thing is I just want to be able to do it, um, every day. You know, I don't want there to be, I don't want to have to sit there. There's only been one day where I've sat there and I've been like, I don't know what to do, like, I don't know what, what short to make right now. Uh, you know, there's always something to talk about somewhere. There's always some friggin' degeneracy or, you know, the woke mob doing their thing. F the rumblers, Snuggy. Damn. Imagine, imagine we get big enough that there's a platform war. I'd appreciate that. Hail to the rumblers, says Improbi. You guys are divided. 72 people in here, though, hit the like button. Please do. We're just chatting about whatever while I um, do my skilled, highly skilled labor. I'm going to run out of these at some point. <laughs> and then what am I going to do? I can't really sign anything because I need space for that. Uh, the main thing holding back the shorts viewers from joining the chat is they don't know I'm part of the chat experience. That's a very good point, Mo. How do we include Mo in the shorts? Actually, it was Jolly Green who asked, are you ever going to do any sort of like CG related shorts? Uh, to which the answer is yes, but um, hold on. Eric Weathers says, I have a confession. I almost, almost never smash the like button, Eric. What does Shane say? Take a penny, leave a penny. You ever heard of that? Actually, Eric, Eric's going to come on. We're going to do a um, Battle Brick Road uh, deep dive uh, at some point, hopefully over the next couple of weeks. It's been too long since I've, you know, talked comic stuff. I know Jeremy and the guys are, are talking a lot of um, like comics that, I, that they like, back issues and stuff. I'm not as interested in that stuff. I'm much more interested in the, you know, indie, indie side of comics these days. Um, but, you know, good for them. They've found a good crowd of people who are watching and uh, enjoying all that. I know uh, Graham and Aaron do the same thing. I think you've got to be passionate about it, though. I like, imagine me trying to talk about DC comics. <laughs> but uh, very happy to talk about things like Battle Brick Road and Lost Pages and Cyber Frog. And I uh, still got to get the cryptidinal guys on. Mo almost always hits like, but never rings the bell. That's fair enough. I don't like the. Uh, when does Battle Brick Road launch? I'm not sure. That's Jolly Green asking that. That'll be Battle Brick Road 2. I'm not sure. Um, oh, no. Neff was timed out by Uber Mod. Uh, Mo Biggs. Must be punishment for a previous transgression. There must have been weaving it out. Actually, I think I saw that, that he was like, Neff was apologizing to Mo because he was weaving out on his channel. And uh, I guess that's retribution. I mean, that's what happens. The I did make I did make Mo the Uber Uber wrench in the chat, so he has these powers. Uh, Neff knows what he did. <laughs> Says Mo. He had a weeb stream. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, what was I saying earlier? I can't even remember now. So many tangents. So many directions. I feel like this is gonna fall off and i'm gonna get upset uh so yeah battle brick road the first one came out not too long ago uh, i know he's working he's probably about halfway 
uh, through drawing the second one. I don't know when he's going to put it out. I know a lot of us are aiming to get like a lot of the book drawn. That's what I'm doing uh, before we launch. So stay tuned, I guess. I mean, if I have Eric on, we can ask him that very question. Noren Rad says, when I need to weeb out during a Bancroft stream, I make a separate note doc and type it in there. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, Mode's Wrath uh, comes quick, comes swiftly and uh, harshly. So hold on a sec. I need to, I need to move these somewhere. Ugh. That's a hefty, hefty package. <laughs> Everyone's saying hello to Amanda. Oh, Agent Zero is editing the uh, the reading that we did of his book of uh, Chrome Dog, which just got funded. Congratulations, by the way, Justin. Just got funded over on Maylands. Uh, the Hyper Wizard and I did. I look forward to seeing it. I look forward to seeing our humor immortalized. Jasper's in the house. How you going, Jasper? Fulfillment is underway. We'll start posting these out. What day is it today? Monday. Yeah, so we'll start posting these out uh, probably Wednesday. I've still got to finish signing. i got to sign everything first because it's a, it's a well-oiled machine in here. And uh, it requires a production line. And everyone's waiting on me. Octogon is here. I also saw him over on Malin's. I was modding on Mailens for the first time ever because no one else was at the start. I saw you guys did eventually, but Mailen was like, make sure you mods put in the links just for the things and no one was doing anything. So I was like, all right. I stepped up. I hope John recognizes that. When the time comes for me to come and uh, shill painted death on his channel. <laughs> Production line is the way to go, says Frequency Girl. I don't, I've actually, every time I do something, I think about you guys and what you must have gone through on that campaign. There was so much stuff and all of it, like even the, the little acrylic pins, they have to have that, that thing taken off that little plastic cover. That's a nightmare. I don't know how you guys managed, but uh, thank you. Thank you for managing. Everyone's saying hello to, uh, Jasper, Cullen, whip it. I, I can't believe I'm, I'm not usually so productive on a stream. I can't believe I'm actually getting things done. This is weird. Achievements unlocked and all that. Yeah, but as I was saying earlier, man, it is, uh, it's pretty, I'm, I'm pretty amped about the growth of the channel. Uh, you know, even if it's going to take, you know, getting 10,000 subscribers to get 100 of them that actually turn up and hang out in the chat, that's still an extra 100 um, subs, 100 people that we've found. And that's the hardest thing to do because we're all, we're all of us that stream, we all are sort of streaming to the same pond. So, you know, whenever Ethan goes live, like I wouldn't have 78 people in here watching me waffle on as I do this if Ethan was live. That would just not be a thing. And you all know that. Oh, this one doesn't have a bookmark. Error. Error. Uh, actually, Mel. Uh, it's all right. I'll put it in later. It's fine. Um. Yeah, you know, so it's like how do we – grow our channels to the point hashtag same 100 <laughs> fire mel says camel <laughs> actually i did this mel had no hand in any of this um it was my fault i will put the bookmark in there don't you worry about it. i just am cognizant that these are in order that's all i, I want to make sure that you know the people who were supposed to be getting that print actually get it um yeah hashtag same 100 that's it like you know, I can get sometimes 100 people in here, 150 if it's a really sort of popular night. And, but most importantly, no one else is streaming. 
Camel was saying this, we were chatting about this the other day, like how do we get another 100 people to watch our streams? Uh, we can't just go and, I mean, what you could do is you can go and hang out on Malin's and Ethan's and Mandy's and, and Shane's. Um, but anytime they start up a stream, uh, you know, those that's their fans. They're going to run over back there. And that's, you know, that's what they built that. So um, that's their thing. So how do you build the channel? So they're actually there for your channel. Um, I don't have the answer. I'm trying with the shorts. I think it's going well. We'll see. David G, $5. Thank you. Uh, sure. Hang out with me, says Ethan. I will, Ethan. I will. Especially as I, in the lead up uh, more to my um, uh, launching my campaign, I'll actually be able to, uh, you know, carve out some more time out of my day. I'll be able to justify that. So I'll be able to go and hang out with you guys more because usually I'm sort of, like right now, this is my lunch break again. You can see it's daylight outside. Uh, I'm doing this during my work lunch break. All right, Richard Friend said he's ready to start going on other people's channels to talk about Blaster Kid and campaigning. You should reach out. I already have. I have reached out to Richard. I don't know if he responded, but um, yeah. And then, well, I mean, I've been going on about that book. Holy cow. Blaster Kid. Amazing. Uh, thank you for the super chat, by the way. Uh, I've been enjoying, Ethan, I've been really enjoying your. Um, your draw streams. I know I always say this, like I know they're not the pop most popular ones, but they're the ones I like the best. Uh, and I was enjoying watching uh, you and Shane and, and Rini shoot the shit last night. Uh, what else you guys saying? I, uh, I was there when the um, when the alarm went off, and everyone was like, uh, "I hope everything's okay." And then it actually just turned out. I tweeted about. It, I said, "This is the most wholesome comics gate drama ever." <laughs> the uh, you know, a false alarm, and then the fireman and the uh, the policeman come in and read Cyberfrog. I thought that was very uh, like that's real. That's real life. That's not. That's not uh, that's not Twitter. That's not the weirdos on Twitter. And the weirdos talk about the weirdos, like the, all the people who are in there um, calling me a transphobe and a bigot and a weirdo in the in the comment section of those shorts. I think I got it. Mel said I got a backer. Um, do you know who it was? <laughs> I'm sorry. She says they said it twice. Hey, if you say it again, um, I'll I will acknowledge you and thank you. Thank you for backing. Uh, LucentWakingDream.com. dot com. Um, is it Ben Ben? He's new. He looks like he's new to the chat. Oh, cool team. I apologize. <laughs> Bankrupted natural sunlight, says Darko. Madness. It is. It is. Uh, it would be nice if Indiegogo and places as such didn't shadow ban certain creators. Well, it would be. But, I mean, that's sort of the whole impetus behind, you know, growing our platforms to the point where, like, it really doesn't matter as much. Um, what does Mo say? Bancroft is not a transphobe. His issues with RuPaul stem from another factor. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. What is happening? That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, you know, that's what happens. But you, that's why I always like to have something to sell. Um, you know, people are seeing you for the first time. And also people start getting their books. They start sharing it out. They start seeing it. Um, and then they want to get part of it. 34 minutes in. Oh, my, oh, lucky I had another stash over there. Oh, my goodness. Hold on a sec. Oh, I nearly had a chair stream for a sec there. My chair isn't very visible, though. 
We've seen the Etsy video. Bancroft's no transfer. It's <laughs> not that bad. All right, now we're up to the people. These are the people who just get that print and that postcard. Uh, bookmark, sorry. Well, now you also get that. So congratulations. Jim Cox says Bancroft likes Rod. I do. I like him a lot. I like his art. He's a very talented artiste from Brazil. That's the Rod I love. And the cock I love is creator-owned comics. I just want to clarify that for anyone who's new. People sharing that, oh, Bancroft loves cock. Yeah, yeah, creator-owned comics. People find that confusing. Uh, Oren's great, says Snuggy. Yeah, he is. Look at him. I don't know why. This particular blue, or it's like a greeny blue, it doesn't show on any camera. You guys think that's sort of like a washed-out gray? Trust me, when you get this in person, you'll be like, wow, wow. That's very impressive. Also, penis, it says Paul. <laughs> no. Happily married man to a, um, a regular woman. A woman, as they're called, as I call it. Just a woman. Uh, read Ben Ben's comment. Okay, Melanie B. I will read Ben Ben's comment. Uh, scrolling up, looking for Ben Ben in all the wrong places. All right, I'm scrolling. Ben Ben, anyways, just wanted to stop by and say you're an awesome dude and I'm cheering for your girlfriend. Just finished breakfast, so I'm headed back out. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you, Ben Ben. Thank you for coming and checking out the streams. Haven't seen Ben Ben before, I don't think. Uh, love it. Thank you. Go enjoy breakfast. Happy Jack. Just come off a year where I worked about a thousand hours of overtime. Where are you with campaigns? Fulfilling current and starting a new one soon? Just catching up with the CGC. And that's Happy Jack Savinka. That's a great question. So I have been uh, in the last couple of years, I've been working feverishly to get as much as I possibly can done on Paint of Death, my new book. It's the sequel to Waking Dream. Hold on a sec. Put this here for you. So um, I sold out of the first printings of Waking Dream. You know, we sold, we think we sold about 1,200 of them. They're all gone. So I needed to do a second printing. So I made a new cover, did a second chance campaign, which I ran on my own website to sort of test that out. Nice plant, plant craft. <laughs> I didn't, I swear that wasn't me. That's an actual person who asked that question. Um, so yeah, I made a, I made a second cover. So that original cover is done. You know, if you guys got that cover, that's it. You're one of, you know, 1200 people who grabbed it. Congratulations. This is a new cover. Um, I got to test out the, uh, the website that's still for sale, the lucent Um, and yes, yeah, like for us guys, uh, who, are you know, we work full-time jobs. It's, I think it's really, there's like that extra pressure, um, like we just don't know on any given day how much time we'll have to be able to spend on our books. So for me at least anyway, um, you know, because I can, because I don't have to be paid up front. Um, you know, I've got, I've got, I've got my, my day job. Uh, and I'm the artist on the book. I can just, you know, do that. So that's what I've been doing, you know, for the last couple of years is just, it's a big book. It's a hundred page book. Um, the next one will not be 100 pages, I can guarantee. I heard Ethan say earlier, actually, he's going to, you know, do a 48 page going forward. And I think I'm going to do the same. I'll just have to figure out how to, you know, make the story work in 48 pages without compromising anything. Um, now that will be launching this year. Painted Death. Need more magnets. Oh, my goodness. I had no idea I would ever be this productive on a stream. Uh, that will be launching this year. And then once that's out and fulfilled, I've got a separate book that Rod Looper is drawing for me currently. It's halfway through called Fractured Mind. That will be like a, uh, a one shot um, set in the Lucent world. It's an action book. So my books are more in the European style. There is action in them, but I wouldn't call them action books. 
um there they do have a genre but it's secret i can't tell you guys some of you might be able to figure it out when you read it and if you do let me know i won't tell you if you're right but i'll appreciate it nonetheless uh so yeah then that so basically the plan is that um you know i'll continue writing the main arc which is the one that focuses exclusive primarily on ella um it's sort of like the Skywalker saga, you know, they were the main stories, but you know, they made other things. Um, you know, they made the old Republic and all that sort of stuff. That's what the side books are more like. They're just, you know, they're set in the world. The characters, you know, get to know them a bit better and I get to explore different genres that will, those side books, I plan on releasing them between the main books. And that's how I'll be able to have something to put out every year because otherwise it's way too long between drinks um i don't like making everyone wait so long for something and uh oh my god someone's popped in <laughs> someone i didn't invite but he's here and hold on a sec don't come in yet Yo, I can't hear it's, you. Hang on. If it, there you go. If it isn't The Walking Dead, I don't have any headphones on, so if it gets echoey, I don't know what to tell you. I just Rob, to, you're alive. I'm alive. Yeah, yeah. You're it, alive. It, it, it took a while. It took a while, but I'm, I'm alive. I just wanted to say, yes, I'm here. I'm not dead. Mm -hmm. Um, hopefully, should get back to some sort of normalness this week. What's the size of the Rob Hawk. Dude, it's out of control. It hasn't been cut, man. I would say that I've been growing my beard in your honor, but I haven't. But I'll say it now anyway. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. How are you, dude? What's going You've on? You've been just on the couch dying for two weeks? Oh, dude, I've been like in bed for like two weeks. It's crazy. You have bed like... sores? Nah, it's just, you know, questioning life. Purpose. <laughs> Mo says, I never thought I'd be happy to see Rob. Um, hold on. It's going quick. Wow, everyone's really excited to see you. I I'm not saying I am, but I never thought I would be. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hyper Wizard says, we've missed you, Rob. I've missed yeah, you guys. very weird without you. I'm going to say, like, we, um, you know, we did the game show without you. Uh, and <laughs> Cameron was hilarious. He was like kind of nice of that rob here because like phil's actually encouraging us and saying you can do it when rob's here it's just like you guys <laughs> suck you're the worst oh you, you should go to learn to play yeah a different thing yeah it, it's weird man it's weird being here it feels like i've i've been gone for ages um so well, two yeah. weeks on two weeks in cg is a lifetime yeah, like what? What's happened? What have I missed? You're fulfilling your book. Amazing. I'm fulfilling. Man. Uh, I got one and a half million subs in the last couple of uh, not sub uh, views, not subs. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, views in the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, uh, got like eleven hundred new subs. Um, campaigns are launching like crazy. Yeah. Like it, it's September. It's the September to remember all over again. Like when you got sick, it was still, you know, not much was happening. Well, like everything's happening. You need to check out this launch stream we did yesterday. Yeah. Why? Uh, you're going to have things to say about it. Oh, shit. No, it's just like. So um, that's our top Wednesday, is it? Yeah, I guess. Uh, hang on, I need to turn you up a bit. I can't really hear you. Or maybe that's your dog barking. Um, dog hang on. Yeah, no mailing list at all. Uh, he started promoting it like three days beforehand. Great looking book. Really mm. awesome art on it. Um, and the guy's been here in CG since the beginning. Uh, but it's a, sort of like a textbook case of what can happen if uh, yeah, you don't like show your um you know let anyone know about your book 
uh, you know, beforehand. So it was it was rough, was it? Like it was a, it was a rough. No, it walk. wasn't rough. It wasn't awkward or anything. It was just everyone really loved the look of it. They yeah. were like, "This is great," but I, you know, it's a rare person that just wakes up one day and is on YouTube and says, "Oh, you know what? I like the look of what I'm seeing there. I'm going to back that." Sort of just completely mm. sight unseen, and you don't know the person. Like the only person who can do that is really one, and that's Ethan. You know, he can just drop a book because everyone knows him already and everyone's already invested in Cyberfrog. So, um, yeah, it was, uh, look, it was still a fun show. It was just, I, I was just like, man, you would have things to say about it. Hail uh, Jim Cox just gifted five memberships. Jim, hold on a sec. It's so difficult doing this on a, on a little laptop. You little ripper. <laughs> Thanks, lads. Jim is a gangster. Jim is a gangster. Mm. Hang on. Mel asked me something and I couldn't hear her. Uh, are we roboting? I'm not. I don't hear any roboting. I've got, I've, I, I'm not seeing any um, bad internet thing. Usually mm. less, right? I don't know. Hail Jim Cox. Dude, where are you? This looks like a nice part of your house. Why don't you stream from there? Look, it's natural light. You've got a plant. What's going on? I don't live in my cottage. You know, that's where I work. I know it's all enclosed and everything, but uh, actually put blinds down to keep it dark in there. That's um, nice. Uh, yeah, it's our kitchen. We don't, we, we're not hobbits. We don't live in a hole in the ground. We live oh. in a house. There's sunlight. Oh, uh, this is lovely plant here. Um, yeah, you know. People say I was roboting. Oh, well, it's done now. Uh, Sumo Thor is in the house. How Sumo? I haven't seen Sumo much um, these days. Maybe he doesn't like me. Maybe he's busy. Maybe he got sick of the gatekeeping. I don't know. Maybe I ran, he ran out of money. Maybe, maybe he, he ran doesn't out have of to money. spend any money. We just, we just like him for his, uh, you know, like him being here. That's all. Um, uh, Blue says, read over the book description during the stream. Need a little time to digest it. Felt like I heard world building info, but don't know the story pitch enough. Yeah. Yeah. It's like people are seeing about it. He's talking about the book yesterday, uh, I mm. Vengeance. People are seeing, about it, seeing it for the first time. On top of that, like, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I think well in advance when I'm going to back a book. You know, I, mm. I decide months in advance. All right. I need to. I'm. Oh, I'm backing um, Lost Pages three that month. I want to back No Cover. You know that sort of stuff. It's not just like people just drop something right in front of me, and I can. Go, oh yeah, I can back that. It's unless it's you know like five bucks. Uh, not the case. Mo I got says, five. It's the feed. Is Rob okay? He looks like ET after the feds captured him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Did you get probed? Oh, I feel like it. I feel like, <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, thanks everyone who reached out. I uh, appreciate it. I didn't respond to anyone, even Mike. So, yeah, he didn't. I was like, he even four days in, him. no contact from Rob. I send a message to Mel. I say, I have not heard back from Rob. So I messaged him on the phone. Mm. Nothing. And I'm like, all right, well, he's either dead. Um, and you know his wife isn't charging it, his batteries because she's so distraught. Uh, or he's just, you know, when I had COVID, it was eighteen hours a day of sleeping. Oh, dude, it was so, so much sleeping. It was crazy. It's like you, you go to bed, you wake up in the morning, and then you you're up for like fifteen minutes and fall asleep again. It's fucking insane. It's nuts. The fatigue is real. Uh, Noren says, get drunk 3PO on your show. I reached out. I mean, he's not following me, so I can't DM him, but I sent him a, you know, a tweet. I said, if you want to come on, uh, we can chat about your book. There's another book actually that just launched, um, that I wanted to show off. Can't remember. There's been so many launches. It's crazy. It's going nuts. Yeah. I, I missed, I missed no cover launch. I missed Phil's launch. Um, Man, there's so much that's happened. Well, I mean, Phil's launch was only two days ago. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm uh, I'm done. I don't have anything else to do. The only thing I have left to do now is sign the inside cover of the books that I need to sign the inside cover of, or the title page, sorry. And I can't do that because these chrome pens, I got the big fat chrome pen, Rob, because you know how you were complaining that my signature was so... Oh, lifted? yeah, it was, like, it was like Peter Dinklage signed it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hold up. Um, and, uh, and then so, you know, I signed all these covers with this big fat chrome pen, and I'm like, this is not drying. So I oh, Googled shit. it, and they said 8 to 24 hours dry time. Wow. Wow. That's so, weird. Um, yeah. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to jerry rig something to be able to sign the title pages on these things. Uh, super chat from Sumo. I was boycotting until Rob cleaned up that bush on his face. <laughs> Just getting busy. <laughs> yeah. What am I going to do with when my beard gets that long? No, just keep it going, man. Just keep it going. Uh, speaking of Sumo, I want to shout these out because I don't shout them out enough. Uh, and if you guys are looking at the stream, you can probably see this if you're on desktop. Uh, this is what Sumo made for us to sell. Uh, they Amazing. are available on the campaign. These enamel metal ginger root hands. I think they're 15 bucks uh, from what I remember. They're quite hefty. Um, so if you do want one of them, uh, go and grab one. And thank you for the super chat, Sumo. Very, very much appreciated. Uh, oh, Amanda got one. Excellent, excellent. Um, Run a string line between something to hold the cover up. I think I'm going to just put in um, like a pencil or something so that it, it sort of stays up. That's, I think that's all I really need to do. But yeah, eight hours with Clark in the house, you know, five-year-old running around. It's precarious. You, uh, do, we have a, do we have a launch date, Bancroft? I have a launch date, but oh, shit. I'm Doesn't thinking about convincing. it now. Yeah. And it's not anything to do with um, anything else other than taxes. The taxes. taxes. Oh, I remember the taxes. Uh, I launched originally on Indiegogo. Now, there's a 60-day wait time. Actually, it's more than 60, K 60 days. It's probably more like 75 days or 70 days. After you launch... As to when you actually start receiving funds. Now, I'm not set up as a business, as like a company. I'm a business, but I'm not a company. I don't know if it's exactly the same in the States, but that money will be going directly to me like within days. That finger thing means that taxes. You got it, cool team. You know what I'm talking about. Um, and I don't know if I can get like a company set up in time that will make it so that that money won't get taxed all the way uh, because obviously I won't have the expense of printing it and shipping it until the, the following year. So uh, the following financial year, at least I know you guys do it differently in the States. Rob, you and I, we, our financial year breaks in June. So um, you, you've got I'm, a comment there from Mo that you probably should have. Uh... Tackle. thinking about it if you want a special chrome autograph from bancroft send a request to his email fat penis <laughs> fat penis so good at gaymail.com that's not my email address <laughs> no he already had the email before he got the fat <laughs> oh amazing oh, i would right, i get it fat i would pen. love it that pen is <laughs> I would love it if Mo set up that actual email address and had it forward to your email address. Oh, my address. God. That would be amazing. Oh, shit, I'm dying. <laughs> Fat I get it now. <laughs> they were calling me out. Like, I didn't get jokes. I didn't get jokes. So that was great. Um, that's totally Bancroft's email, says Nuggy. Can confirm. Dan, uh, Dan Bancroft, you stole my email address. Super chat here from Nolan. Holy hell. 20 bucks. That ain't cheap. Did someone say taxes? Ah, I wish I had the taxes thing. I actually did download that at some point, but I didn't bring it up. But I'll give you one of these because that's 20 bucks. Now. That ain't cheap. Well, cheers, biggies.
take. I can't. I couldn't hear you for a minute. Though. You like cut out. Uh yeah. I, something happened. I don't know. Uh, it's weird on the laptop. I remember I used to stream on the laptop. Holy crap! We got a hundred people nearly watching. Well, we got ninety six on YouTube. We have fourteen watching over on Rumble. That's another thing that happened while you were gone, Rob. Uh, over four hundred subs on Rumble, um, and uh, and yeah, they're getting pretty decent views now, like a hundred mm. views. So I hope we I hope we can keep that up. I started tagging them as Comicsgate. Because I, I wonder Ooh. if there are people who are yeah. over on Rumble looking for Comicsgate um, streams. And, yeah, so I thought, oh, that's probably a good idea. Um, but uh, Henry Beamer says, I thought Rob was a death's door. You can't keep a good bogan down, I guess. Now, we're made of strong stuff. Rob especially. Rob's out there, you know, in the wild, in the bush, in the outback, mm. uh, you know, boxing kangaroos and everything so uh he needs to be made of sterner stuff hyper wizard says things really picked up while you were while you were away rob i wouldn't take it personally i mean how can Ooh. i not how can i not uh, hyper wizard's been picking up his game streaming regularly uh he came on this show for a little bit um doing these cool animations uh yeah man a lot has happened since you've been gone a lot, uh, too much really to go through. But well, hopefully, we'll have to go through it on, on, on Wednesday when we do our yeah. show. We'll, we'll, you can fill me in what's happened. Good. Uh, Moon is here. He says it's Dickhead been a nice here. vacation without Rob. Uh, I guess that vacation's about over. <laughs> He's missed you. He really has. Mm. He really has. Wow, hundred people here, background. Look, I come in and you get twenty more viewers. Coincidence? Most likely. Probably Aaron Lepresti stopped streaming. Yeah, I'd say that's 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 accurate. Uh, actually, bring up some stuff, actually, um, while we're here. Uh, where is it? All right. <laughs> Johnny says Rob was gone. Yeah. Yeah, for a minute. For a while. He was nearly dead. Um, all right. I really did not expect to you know get what i was you know planning on doing there done that's crazy uh, god have i not i'm just trying to pull up the great wheel giveaway uh, i've got to type it out manually because i never use this laptop oh it's been a while since we've seen the wheel i don't even have the friggin link to my own thing i oh, know it's in the description isn't it we get to have that. you done have you done the have you, have you been keeping on top of everyone when i've been gone bancroft making sure they're getting their art done doing no. your own art making Camel no make sure he's getting his art done no camel's doing it after camel's made that clear he's oh, okay. gonna anyone who wins they get to choose because camel has so Ooh. many things you know they might want a house salad thing they might want a boots and heels thing i like um, it uh so yeah but I have, I mean, I've talked about this on Ethan's. I've talked oh, about nice. this on um, Reenies, I think. I've talked yeah. about it on Shane's. I've talked about it on Patrick Thomas Parnell's. I've talked about it on Mandy's. Oh I've God. been doing the rounds. You've been putting in work. I have. Go, go you. Um, I, but what I haven't done is I don't know where the link is to the Great Wheel giveaway. I can't remember... <laughs> Is it the Great Wheel giveaway or just Great Wheel giveaway? It's been a while. Um, uh, let me look. You, normally, you know, I just... Uh, yeah, I've got it here. Dude, I've been away for two it? weeks and I've up? got it. Yeah. I'll put it in private chat. All right, cool. Thank you. Um, all right, there it is. All right. The wheel is better than Bancroft, which is better than Rob. Um. I Agreed. accept that. I accept that. I accept that hierarchy. Uh, all right. Sharing screen. God, this computer is... I can't share my screen. Uh, oh, hang on. It. I can't share my screen because I never stream from here. And it's like, do you accept? And then I've got to go into my frigging settings. That's annoying. There you go. 
what have you what have you done when I've been away? Like, how have you managed to do streams? Can't share things. Can't bring up comments. Well, I don't normally stream from my kitchen. Yeah. I've been very busy. Camel and I finished the 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 quad triptych. Um, oh, nice, man! I've helped. Yeah, I've helped two pretty big dudes on some pretty big campaigns with their um, uh, pre press, Ooh. and I got paid handsomely to do it. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so there's that. Yeah, I've been I've been keeping busy, Rob. It's not all you know. When you go away, my life doesn't just stop. Mm. Um. All of a Punch. sudden, just a little bit. Rob completes Bancroft. <laughs> the wheel is hypnotizing me, says this. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. It hypnotizes you into signing up. He launched the Indias Brothers. Yeah, no, I didn't launch them. Those guys launched themselves, but I helped. Uh, yeah, so do sign up to the Great Wheel Giveaway 17. Amazing. I mean, we assume they're going to be amazing. We haven't seen all of them. Mm. Uh, original art pieces up to win up for grabs all you have to do is sign up oh and i was the number one mod today thank you shanelle hello darling in uh malin's um comic skate present show tonight so i've been i've been keeping busy man malin's been, i wanted back. to make you jealous of all everything that i've been doing while you're away dude you make me jealous every day of all the stuff you're doing you're a machine <laughs> Bancroft never got my bit where I was pretending, this is Mo Big speaking, where I was pretending to be hypnotized by the wheel all those times. I know, I thought he was serious for a second and my heart lifted and then it was crushed under the weight of his sarcasm. Oh, Mel's just left. She's gone. She didn't even say goodbye. She didn't want to be on screen. I said, you want to do a fulfillment stream today? She's like, nope. I said, come on. Nope. Come on. <laughs> no. And when that third one, you know, uh, yeah, um, she's not coming on. Uh, oh, there's the other thing I wanted to share is is this. I like I like this. I like this comment from here. Menage. Bancroft spreading like Skynet. Well, hopefully <laughs> not. Um, can you share my campaign? Because we've got a hundred people in here, and I just want to show it off. Considering we've it's been, I don't know why this laptop is not letting me um share anything uh she was on the last one was she? yes she was she was she said i will do a fulfillment stream she said but not today i don't know what's up with today you know what women are like sometimes they wake up and they're like they don't feel good uh that day women are mm. like that i've learned that and they'll she's like i'm not putting that on the internet so um i guess that's what's happening uh, but yeah, we will do another fulfillment stream while we're actually, you know, putting things in mailers, I think. And I'll get Mel in here. Maybe even the kids will be here. I don't know. Uh, sure, says Warlock. Blame the laptop. I always do. This is my campaign. Wow, 230 backers, Rob. We crushed uh, your estimate by a whole Well, 30. I mean, I said 200. I mean, you know, everything over is just gravy now. Fantastic. Mm. Um, yeah, so... Everything is there. I've nearly uh, finished the um, the the page, the original art page that we sold. Oh, uh, so amazing. Um, everything's yeah, everything's going well. Everything's going well. So everyone, if you want to uh, back it, it is available now. Um, it will ship. You know, this week. I've got to put up on CG now. Actually, actually, I can add. Uh, I can add this to. I can add PayPal if people want to use PayPal and you get all the, um, the, uh, you, know, you can get the installment pay and stuff like that. Uh, cool team yeah. says it was two thirty before he backed. So maybe there's another one there. Yeah. I, it, it's like on a, this is a bit, uh, custom, this coding. It doesn't, or it doesn't automatically update. I, custom um, or shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. It can be improved. 100% mm. it can be improved. It updates every 15 minutes or so, which is okay, but it's not great for this. You know, you want to no. see it update straight away. Um, so I've got to manually sync it. And I don't have all that stuff with me now. Like, I don't have a bigger screen to do all that. But uh, 
Uh, it will have gone in there. Um, you will have gotten your uh, confirmation thing. Thank you so much for backing, by the way. That's uh, very appreciated. Website run by Hamster Power. It's Shopify. It's I think it's now the biggest website e-commerce site in the world. Um, it's just these are sort of custom plugins that they're apps that people make, and they're not really. I don't think they were necessarily made for crowdfunding. We've just sort of MacGyvered them and you know put things together uh, as best we can. They work well enough. Hopefully, I can improve it by the time we go live on Painted Desk. Pardon me. All right. Uh, I think that's it. We've been going for an hour. We've got 100 people in here. I want to thank everybody for hanging out. Rob, it's mm. great to see you again. It's good to see you, man, and the chat. I've missed you guys. Make sure you guys weird. come and hang out on Camels later. Uh, the show is really um, getting back into the swing of things. We've got Phil over there now. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. So make sure you are subscribed to Camel Moon. Um, uh, but uh, other than that, I look at Ethan. Two What's great up, Ethan? fellas. Hey, go on, man. That's who we are. Two great. We're two great blokes. We're two top blokes, just doing our thing in CG. All right. Uh, thank you, Rob, for jumping in. The biggest thank you of all, as always, goes out to the wonderful, amazing, incredible spectacular and always ever phenomenal sexiest chat in all of cg i will see you guys over on camels later and after that i will see you um i'll see you in a few days uh for more streams until then i hope you have a great one bye individually we are weak like a single twig but as a bundle we form a mighty 